Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. First off, a pretty interesting Twitter thread I came across that I want to share with all of you. AMC, I've heard it said, if AMC reaches $100 plus per share, it'll be so expensive that people won't buy it anymore. Actually, this is completely backwards. What you mean to say is that you may not buy it anymore, but more people will buy it. Why? If AMC reaches $100 per share, its market cap surpasses $50 billion. Remember the debt issue as the reason people said the company would fail? Yeah, that's $4 billion. If your company has a market cap of $50 billion, a $4 billion debt load is erasable, but there's more. If the stock reaches $100, who really cares if CEO Adam wants to issue 25 million more shares? Issue 25 million more and there's $2.5 billion right there could potentially eliminate most of the debt burden in a matter of a couple days, but there's more. With a market cap of 50 billion, AMC could look at acquiring companies like Play, market cap of 1.75 billion, or companies like CNK, market cap of 2.03 billion. The company could even potentially acquire Dave & Buster's and Sinmark for say for five to 10 billion, but there's more. AMC could look at acquiring the real estate around the movie theater locations. This could significantly beef up the balance sheet and revenue to put the company on even better footing moving forward. But there's more. With a $50 billion market cap, it wouldn't be crazy to see AMC make a strategic move into producing side of the movie entertainment business. Think Netflix, but for a much larger screen. Could they make their own movies? Maybe. And what's actually interesting about that, I heard Adam Aaron a while back, maybe three to six months ago, talk about this on how they do want to over time have their own movies possibly in their own studios. Next, now imagine the stock reaches $150 per share, $75 billion market cap, or $200 per share, $100 billion market cap. One could see why there could be buyers waiting on the sidelines for the stock to reach certain levels like $100, $150 per share. With all this being considered, it is no wonder why shorts are fighting to keep the stock down. They know their situation gets worse and worse. The higher the stock goes and the higher it goes, the more and more buyers there will be. So definitely interesting breakdown and some good ideas inside of this. I like the idea of AMC continuing to acquire different companies that will complement AMC as well as the real estate play. I also think that over time, different companies that do have a lot of cash on hand will start buying the real estate around their company. We're already currently seeing this go on as of recently with Google and a few other companies. So I do also agree with that play. As far as if or if not people are going to be buying AMC if it reaches $100 or more, I don't even necessarily think that's really much of a question. With the way that AMC has been trading just as of the last few weeks, there's already starting to be a lot of FOMO. We're seeing people buy into the mid and high 40s now. I personally do not think that $100 is going to seem expensive at all to anyone. Um, I don't think $200 or $300 will also seem expensive to anyone. I think that the FOMO buying is going to get out of control, especially when AMC reaches some new all-time highs very soon. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.